Hi Taurus. So this is going to be a singles reading. So for single Taurus peoples, um, we're going to see who's coming in to your life um, romantically as a partner. Uh, this is for um, single Taurians, 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 how do you say it? Um, I'd recommend checking out your sun sign as well as your Venus sign and if you have time to also your moon sign. So we're going to get right into it. For single Taurus people. Who is coming in for them? We're also going to get into physical traits. And I forgot to bring that. So I'm going to have to go get it. But let's do the cards first. Oh, oh my gosh. It's you. It's the Hierophant. Okay, sorry, there's a bit of a reflection because of the window, but we need the lighting. It is you, right off the bat. That would be interesting. I don't know that Taurus necessarily would be. I'm trying to, like, fit this into the frame proper. Um, I don't know that you would like to date a Taurus, like Taurus on Taurus. Would, would that be a good relationship? I don't know. I guess only you could tell. Um, the person may have just significant Taurus placement, so it may not be that they are also like a sun sign Taurus, for instance. Uh, they could have like their Venus sign, their moon sign, something like that. Um, but what I also see here uh, with Taurus, or sorry, not with Taurus, with Hierophant, is that you are most likely going to be on the same page in terms of values that you have, uh, life goals, uh, spiritual beliefs if you have any or if you don't have any um, you will be on the same page and I also see with Hierophant that uh, you uh, this person will be a serious partner a serious life partner so not someone who's coming in just uh, casually or for a short period of time let's continue on single Taurus Okay. You or the person coming in may have just recently uh, gone through a breakup or maybe not super recently, but recently enough that you have just, uh, or they have just uh, kind of healed from it, gotten over it and are ready to love again and be in a relationship again. You know, I do see that it's something that's in the past. It may be in the re somewhat recent past that you or this person has just gone uh, through the healing process. And so you're ready to move on. Oh, yeah. I see that um, this person or you, I would say it's probably the other person, but it could be you as well. Since Taurus, or I keep saying Taurus, <laughs> since Hierophant came out and that's your sign, it could be that you're almost mirroring each other and you both have gone through this recently. Um, but you are ready to move on, they're ready to move on, and then you meet each other and you start something new and magical and wonderful. Let's keep going here. Single Taurus. Let's see who's coming in. We have more earth sign energy. This is Capricorn. And then we have Pisces, Hanged Man. Hey, there we go. I think this person is going to bring in a new perspective on life, on love, on work, um, many different things. Um, they're going to show you a different way of thinking or a way of seeing things um, that will break you out from your regular thought process or perceptions and it'll kind of open up your mind. That's what I see with this person coming in. It seems to be somebody that you will work well together with, not like at work, but in your relationship you will work well together. Um, to solve problems or to make decisions. Single Taurus. Oh, Ooh, nice. We got so many cards. 
the Ten of Cups. So the Hierophant as well as the Ten of Cups very much. And I just saw we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, that's amazing. Um, but the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups are very strongly um, marriage vibes. Um, so definitely a serious partner doesn't mean that you if you don't want to get married or the other person doesn't want to get married or believe in marriage that's totally fine but it's just a significant life partner long-term partner serious partner um and i see that in the queen of pentacles as well from the nine to the ten is very much like you are each other's wish come true and wish fulfillment and this will be a really um fulfilling happy relationship for the both of you oh I saw, okay, I was only going to take 10. The King of Pentacles also is an earth sign and usually is specifically Taurus. So I do see some sort of connectivity. I wasn't going to get another card. I'm going to put this away, but there is the Queen of Cups. So I do see you able to open up to each other and have a really good emotional connection. I just realized that this is the king. I didn't even see that as I was putting it down. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize I put it next to the queen of pentacles. I just saw that now. Um, wow. So that's counterpart energies. You could, as I said before, we had earth signs come out and Taurus came out. So um, it could be that you kind of mirror each other's energies and you have very similar values as I spoke about earlier. Um, yeah, especially in like the material world and like the life that it, when you're living together, for instance, let's say, or you, you get married or whatever, and you're making these like life decisions, like where to live, where to buy a house, buy a car, have kids, all that stuff. Like you're always going to be very practical and on the same page. There isn't going to be a huge disconnect or um, points of contention between your decision making. So that's really good. Let's see if we can get a little bit. Oh, hi. Another marriage card. Wow. Okay. I mean, perhaps if you don't believe in marriage or they don't or you or you just haven't thought of it recently, maybe because of the breakup and you just were like losing all hope or whatever. It seems to be that if you didn't believe in marriage, this person's going to make you believe in marriage or you're going to make them believe in marriage. Something like that because just so much marriage coming through <laughs> um we have the three of wands yeah someone's leading someone to this um state of believing in this stability and like almost like traditions and like i said you'll be on the same page so um, i know i've brought up if you don't believe in marriage because i want to be like inclusive and not assume that everyone wants to get married but it's likely that you both do want to get married. <laughs> um, so and we have six of wands. You're going to come together. This person's going to come towards you. Someone's going to approach. It could be you or it could be them. Or it could be both of you. Take a lot of initiative uh, to move this relationship forward. Let's see what else. One more card for you, Taurus. Singles. Oh, I think I just saw a flash of the devil card <laughs> again. So we have the repeat here. Capricorn could also be a significant placement, or that could be a significant time for your relationship. Um, Capricorn season is the second half of December to the first half of January, just so you know. Um, let's keep going here. Use some oracles. Taurus singles. Oh, look at that. Love. I love that for you. I love that card. I feel like I never get it when I <laughs> am reading for myself. Okay, Taurus singles. And we have cleanse. So definitely a lot of love. And I think that this relationship will cleanse you of all prior 
um, relationships, anything, any baggage, any negativity will be cleansed away and healed with this relationship, which is beautiful and lovely. Let's get a little bit more for you and then we'll get into the physical traits before we end the meeting or the meeting, <laughs> the uh, reading. I don't know why I said meeting. We are in a meeting. Oh, we have moth spirit and koi fish. I feel like there's like another card, but there is not. Okay. We have koi fish spirit and oops, uh, moth spirit. So surrender now and there is always enough. Interesting. Yeah, I see this being a very abundant, um, another um, message coming through with the king and queen of pentacles coming out together is that you're going to have a very materially abundant life together. So this person's doing really well in their career and they're good with finances and they're, they're only going to get, you know, build more and more wealth or material stability and you yourself are probably doing that as well. So I do see that um, in your relationship together, it being very stable and it not being a issue in your relationship, something like finances or your career, anything like that. And, and with the moth spirit, I see you two being drawn together. I'm hearing like moth drawn to a flame like this. Um, so you're very drawn to each other right away, which is what I was seeing with the six of wands. You two both kind of like coming together and being like, yes, we want to be together. So I'm going to grab some initials that this person may be for Taurus. How many is that? Okay, we'll do four. Why not? Why not? We have C, we have I, we have O, and we have I again. Oh no, I think this is H. <laughs> oh my god, I'm confusing myself. Is one of these an H? This may be an H. There's no, I did not put two I's in here, so I'm going to say it's an H and an I. Okay. Right. Let's get some physical traits for you for Taurus, the person, physical traits. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have black, brown hair. We have Pisces that is connected to the hanged man. There's a truck outside my window. We're just gonna keep going. Sagittarius. Gemini. Uh, Virgo, my goodness. Is that all of the mutable signs? It is. Am I right? I think sometimes I get confused. Pisces is, Sagittarius is. Gemini is Virgo is. You have all the mutable signs. That's, I don't know how that happened. That's crazy. <laughs> um, am I right? Am I missing something? No. Yeah, these are all the mutable signs. That's so interesting. Okay, we have black, brown hair again. That's so interesting. Um, mutable signs. This person's very changeable, adaptable. Taurus, it's you. Um, I don't, I've never gotten this many signs. That's crazy. And the fact that they all, like I opened them consecutively and that they're all mutable signs is kind of tripping me out. I, I don't even know what to say about that. So interpret that as you will. <laughs> Those are all mutable signs. It's earth, air, fire, and water mutable signs. You Taurus are a, uh, fixed sign. And Capricorn is a cardinal sign. Wavy hair. Uh, water sign. Sure. You have so many signs here. That's so interesting. And curly hair. Okay. Oh, I missed one. Short. <laughs> so that pertains to height, but it can also pertain to like hair length as well. That is so interesting. I don't know how to read that. If you have an interpretation, let me know because that would trip me out that they all came out consecutively. But you're not a mutable sign, so strange. 
maybe this person has a lot of mutable signs in their chart or you do um so that is your reading taurus i hope you enjoyed that don't forget to check out your other placements um again that's sun and venus placements and if you have time to also your moon sign placement uh don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next readings and i will talk to you all in my next video bye